Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, I'm Nicole, I'm a homeschooling mom to a seven, five, and two year old. And today we are going to be organizing the disaster of a Lego room. I finally got a vision of how to organize it. Okay, so currently I'm getting the stuff out of my trunk. Um, so I got these bins and these ones. Um, I'll talk more about it. I was going to do the drawer. Sorry, lighting. Ooh, where's the sun? <laughs> um, but it didn't look like they would be able to take the weight of Legos. So we're doing the bins. I'm going to take you guys up and show you what a complete disaster <laughs> the Lego room is. And it pretty much always is. Um, so I'm hoping that this is the thing that finally changes it and we can get organized. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, I just wanted to start by saying, if you guys haven't seen um, my other like cleaning videos or my Instagram when you can actually like see my house, um, BTW, I have not cleaned it for the day. So there's like a couple things out. <sighs> I just walked up the stairs, I'm out of breath. Um, overall, I do keep my house clean and organized. There's two rooms that I allow myself to not be pretty all the time, <laughs> which is the Lego room, I'll show you in a sec, and our laundry room because it has like open shelving and it'll just never look nice till we get new cabinets. Anyway, for the most part, our house is always clean. So don't feel like I am a slob by looking at this room. I'll flip you around. Okay, so they have put cute little Lego signs, Lego room. And here is the, I haven't even looked honestly. So this is just like pure honesty for you guys. Oh, it's pretty horrible. Okay, so I am going to make it cute. They have a lot of their stuff. Like this was cute little well organized or displayed, but this is the disaster. So my husband built this box thinking it would help. I did not think it would and it has not, <laughs> but good idea. So I am going to attack this. Like I said, please don't judge me. This is like a really big deal to put this out there. Um, <laughs> they just have so many Legos. So my goal today, they are at their grandma's and I am going to try and color coordinate these, believe it or not. I saw this a long time ago, actually on the home edit. And I was like, why would you color coordinate or, you know, organize by color Legos? Like that is silly. It's not going to work until I realized that whenever they're building something, like if they're building a red car, a car, they're building it with red Legos, you know, or like they typically pick one color and that's what they build with. So I'll show you, I have little trays that they're going to use themselves. And yeah, this is a bit overwhelming. <laughs> so I'm going to turn on some music and get into this. Anyway, yeah, they're at their grandma's for a few hours. So I have some time. Oh, <laughs> Start, starting with um, just taking out anything that is not a Lego. Um, like there's some clothes, some dress up clothes, stuffies, um, stuff that's gonna like stay in here. I'm just putting in a little bin, like they have um, Lego books and things like that. Don't like mind if I'm out of breath, <laughs> like 90% of this video. Okay, so they've got some like playing cards here. So I'm just gonna like separate all that stuff out. Um, and then bring you guys back when I start putting the Legos in bins. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go through it. It's mostly underneath this. So this is kind of like our guest bed. It's just like their grandpa comes and stays in here sometimes. Um, I might go through the stuff under the bed. But I'm not sure, it's pretty much like baby things. Oh, that's the swing I was looking for. <laughs> okay. It's ridiculous. Okay. See, that's why I shouldn't go through under the bed because I'm going to get distracted. So anyway, I'll come back when I start sorting the Legos into bins and attacking this 
giant thing. It's got a really good idea. Oh, you can see all the bins here. Um, so I wanted to separate my color. And then actually I saw this is what gave me the idea. This little Mickey Mouse head. And I was like, oh, like what color would that go in? Because I'm, brown isn't going with black and white. Anyway, I was like, wait, what if I do a minifigure bin? Oh, that would be thrilling because they love making minifigures. This is going to feel like when they go to the Lego store and they have those bins and you're going to go through. Oh, I hope they're excited about this. If I can finish it, I have like an hour and making a video is definitely slowing me down, but it's also making it so I have to finish it to show you guys, right? So, okay. Like I said, I'll check back in soon. Okay. So I think I got, that only took a couple minutes. I think I got everything like put away slash in that basket um, that is not Legos um, for the most part. So I need to get going on the <laughs> no, the, the hard part. So first I am going to just take off these little sticker guys. Hopefully it's easy. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. I thought they were just going to slide right off. Anyway, I'm going to start coordinating these. I cleared out a little spot for me to sit. Um, okay. It's not looking horrible, but it is. Ugh. Okay. I just can't wait for it to be like more fun for them to play in and like have room to sit. This is honestly like not even the worst it's been because before this box was here, we had one of those um, play pouches that you like suck up and it closes it, but they never sucked it up and closed it. And a lot of Legos would end up underneath the pouch just all over the floor because there wasn't like an edge on it. Um, I'm also hoping that six of these guys is enough for all of the Legos. That was the only thing I wasn't totally sure about, um, but it was a hundred dollars um and i didn't really want to spend much more than that if i didn't have to so and can you tell i'm avoiding getting started okay it's a big project okay here we go Half an hour. I feel like this is taking forever, but um, I'm going to gray Legos, black and white, and so I'm getting them color sorted. And they have um, a few of the Mario ones. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those, um, but that's what I'm going to set up on here, like on the top shelf, because this I hadn't done it before because this was absolutely full of Lego sets, um, but they have since broken apart a lot of their sets. Um, which is why I would like to keep the instruction books, which I haven't thought of how I want to organize that yet, but maybe in one of these shelves since they're clear. I was actually honestly waiting for them to like break apart their sets so that I could, oh my gosh, there's like a bee in here, sorry. Um, so that I could reorganize that how I wanted it. Um, but yeah, that's how it's going. Um, I basically put all of the stuff that was on the rug um, it's pretty much in the bins and I'm working on this big thing here and my mom texted me about, um, she didn't say she's bringing them back soon, but I can tell that she's going to want to soon. So, um, yeah, I got to pick up the pace, but instead of music, I'm actually watching Gil Gilmore Girls while I do it. So it's very fun. <laughs> This is a much bigger project than I was anticipating. And it's like 2.30 and I haven't eaten yet. But I'm like determined to make a giant dent before I go downstairs. Because I don't know if I'm going to come back up again. <laughs> so, still trucking along. Definitely right as far as having like gray Legos have their very own bin. Um, I'm debating I might combine yellow and orange with red and brown. So that black and white can each have their own bin. Um, but yeah, I was sore before I started this and this isn't really helping, but hey, I've watched like an episode and a half of Gilmore Girls, so it's going good. It's going good. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy too. It's a lot of Legos. The hardest part is taking them apart. So like when I find like one like this, 
I have to like take apart each piece and that is what's taking the most time. It's really easy separating out the pieces that are already little like by themselves, but most of them are attached to something that is a color that doesn't go in the same box, but so far so good. Still here. I did actually eat some chips and queso and my husband's bringing home burgers for dinner, so which we rarely eat out. So. It was um, understandable that I would need it. So this is what I've got left. Doesn't seem like I made a big dent, but these are actually getting like decent. I don't know. It's something. Do I think that it'll be finished before the kids get here? I kind of doubt it, but oh my gosh, I'm so tired. This is a lot of work. I'm just hoping that they don't like because if it's not finished, I feel like it's going to be hard for them to understand the concept and not just like dump these baskets out, essentially. So I feel like it needs to be finished before they play with it. But maybe they'll help me a bit too. I know my older son, my seven-year-old, will love sorting. My five-year-old won't quite be into it. But here we go. And I've been setting apart some of the Mario stuff. But they might actually want to set it up themselves. And I don't remember all the pieces that go with it. But anyway. Making some more progress, still watching Gilmore Girls, but I did not clean like the normal part. It's like clean downstairs, but there's a few dishes I need to do. So I need to cut this off before the kids get back so I can go and have everything clean and maybe like rest for a bit so that I'm like rested when they get home. Yeah, <laughs> this might end up being another day that I show you guys the final project, but it'll be this video so you guys don't have to wait long. Okay guys, so this is where I'm pausing for the day. I'm not going to be leaving those there. I'm probably going to put them here stacked and I'll show you the trays that I'm going to use too. Um, but the kids are on their way back home. So yeah, it's obviously needs vacuumed and things, but there's some Legos right there. But um, I mean, it's better. <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, hopefully just like a couple more afternoons and it'll be set. Okay, guys. Day two update. And I was totally right about my seven year old being thrilled to help with this organizing. Okay, so this is where we're at. Um, we have a lot sorted, but I have resorted to putting some in this bin for the moment so that it can just be, cause they wanna play Legos, like they play them every day. So um, currently I am putting the remainder of Legos, which was maybe a third hopefully not as many as half <laughs> um into that bin and then I'll like set it up all cute and nice for them to play I'll show you guys that and then we'll just continue sorting through that bin um it's just like so time consuming my poor two-year-old she's just doing so good hanging out in here with us but she doesn't want to so this is how you kind of have to do projects as a mom sometimes but still gonna get done I'm not someone that doesn't finish projects which is why I've been up here like <laughs> every 10 minutes um anyway that's where we're at going to insert a um, before picture of <laughs> what it looked like in case you guys forgot. I forgot about the sticker. Um, and I'm going to show you guys and I'll explain. Okay, so here's the before picture. And then here is how I have it now. I just dropped a picture off the wall. Um, I'm going to explain these two. Okay, and so that's the bucket that I still have to do. <laughs> I haven't made the bed yet. 
but I wanted the kids to be surprised, so I'm just doing this first. Um, and the only other thing I was kind of thinking of doing, I need to, it's dark, sorry. I need to look on Amazon. Um, in this little space, I was thinking of getting one of those, um, we have some of those like Ikea wooden um, spice racks that are like bookshelves. But I wanna see if they have like a clear acrylic one to match these to put their Lego books. So I, might, I think I'll probably do like um, one low and one higher. Um, and then that'll just be for their Lego books so that they don't get ripped up as easily because sometimes they end up on the floor. Um, I hope this is gonna work. <laughs> so they have their little rug space with their beanbag chairs to build. Um, I do wanna say too, I spent, I believe $90 altogether on um, these little uh, organizers, which I think is expensive, but it's under $100, so I hope it works. So this is what my vision is for them. So obviously they have the little mini fix tray, but then they have each have their own tray right next to their beanbag chair. So they'll take their tray and then they'll pull these out. So if they need a certain color, they can pull out their certain color or they can just have all six sitting on the ground while they're playing or all the time. And then just when I'm cleaning, I'll put them stacked up. I don't mind if it's like the six bins are sitting up, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so the point is to have all their pieces. They're like, ooh, I need this piece to build and I need this piece and I need whatever. And then they'll build it in the tray. And if it's not done, they just leave their little like building stuff in that tray for later because usually it ends up on the floor when they're building and then they run off and do something. They forget they were building it. They start something else. It gets super messy. Um, so that is that. And then my husband was like, well, when they're done with something, they usually will just like take it apart and just put it on the floor. So I think I'm going to use this. I have this over here. Um, this little, oh yeah, I cleared out these. My <laughs> two year old really wants, she said, ah, it has to go here her little ice cream, but, um, oh yeah, I have Mario, this is just a trash bag, um, I have Mario stuff up here that they are setting up there, enjoying doing that, um, and then this is a bin for when they, um, they, sorry, they, there's Dustin, <laughs> they, um, are taking apart something, and they don't necessarily want to feel like organizing it, which I totally get, they're five and seven, they can put it in this bin, and then I'll try, like, every couple weeks to come up and sort those through, once I get the big basket sorted, of course. Um, but then that way they have like an option so that it doesn't end up on the floor because I just can't anymore. I just want it to be like a nice organized space. And then I have other plans for this room as well to make it more of like a functional room that everybody can hang out in. Not, it's just like full of Legos. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, I just have the shelves up. There's a few things that they wanted to keep up there in my Star Wars cup, which actually fits well with the Star Wars thing. It was just what I had coffee in today. But, so this is the final. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out really cute, especially once we get the colorful like Lego books up. Um, and I did it for my kids, right? Like I didn't do this to make a YouTube video out of it. Um, I was just like, oh, I might as well make a video. So I did it what's functional for us. Hopefully that's helpful, helpful to you guys. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any more ideas for me. We do want to get carpet up here eventually because they painted these floors before we moved in and they just chip up like crazy. So I'm aware of that. But <laughs> thank you guys for watching. This was also here when we moved in. So could be a hole behind it. Who knows? Anyway, I'm making this video really long. Have a good one, you guys. Make sure to subscribe and I'll post more videos soon. Love it. Yeah, I love it. I you love it. <laughs>